Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and welcome to our Krita install guide. So we're going to be going through how to set up Krita on a tablet using Tablet Pro. Uh, in this, I'm going to be using the R520 two-button stylus, uh, which is made for art as opposed to just handwriting and note-taking. All right, so we're going to jump right in. We're going to go to Settings and Configure Krita. There are two settings inside of Krita that have been made specifically for Tablet Pro and a third one that you're gonna to need to get this to work correctly. So we're gonna go right to keyboard shortcuts. Down at the bottom where it says shortcut themes, choose Tablet Pro. Then we're gonna to go to canvas input settings and we're going to choose from the top, from the drop down, Tablet Pro. All right, so far we're doing pretty good. Now we're gonna to go to tablet settings, Windows 8 plus pointer input, uh, these and WinTab will make a difference. If you're using a Surface tablet and you don't have pressure in Krita, you need to check this box, and that's going to enable pressure sensitivity on your tablet for your stylus. So one thing uh, I'm noticing is, so here I'm, I'm trying to press on screen, and during this video, it's been actually really difficult to get pressure on the screen. It just was kind of, I felt like I had to press really, really hard, so I adjusted the setting. Uh, here, we're gonna go configure Krita. This very first window right here on tablet, you set set this here. By default, it's like this. I'm gonna pull that up and put that about there. Click OK. And now when I'm drawing here, it's, it's pretty easy to get what I'm looking for. It feels nice, it's light. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into Krita and I'm gonna demonstrate things and talk about shortcuts. So over here on the side, you're gonna see this little box here, and this is going to display what key presses are being pressed. Um, this is done by a program called KeyPress OSD uh, at keypressosd.com. All right, so here you can see we're pressing and we can open up and let's pick another color. And let's actually pick a different brush. And we're gonna resize with Shift and let's choose uh, if we wanted to change some brush settings. Unfortunately, I have to click on the side here to close that, which I'm not a fan of. Or there's probably a button you can click to close, but it doesn't toggle on and off. All right, we're going to create a new layer with insert. We're gonna go down to the layer that we were just on with page down or page up. You can see here. And uh, let's go ahead and select a color. So we're going to go tab is going to open up the canvas so it's nice and uh, open. <laughs> uh, to open up the brush palette is F5. Uh, shift is going to, again, uh, allow you to resize your brush. If we're doing our selecting, okay, so here, lasso tool is L, this is pretty common. We're going to select it, select what we did with Control T. Now for resizing here, Shift is going to lock that aspect ratio. Uh, control is going to let us pivot in Z space, which is pretty cool. Uh, B is selecting a brush. Now you're gonna notice we are only gonna be able to paint inside of this specific uh, selection. So we're gonna deselect that with Control Shift A. Uh, if you have a selection selected, you can hit Enter. I'm sorry, if you're transforming something, which is Control T, you change it and you want it to commit, Enter will commit it, Control Shift A will deselect it. All right, uh, adding a layer, I think we did this with Insert. Let's see what else you need to know. Zoom is control plus space. The hand tool is space for panning around the screen. Uh, undo is your standard control Z. Multiply is alt shift S. And let's move to another spot on the screen. Okay, here we are. Right, right here, uh, we're gonna choose screen you can see that this is brightening up the image and normal and multiple
multiply. A really nice way to get some extra color in here, you know, if you're if you're just doing uh, shadows on a face or something, where you just need the same color and just different brightness. Uh, last shortcut here is this one. This is toggling the eraser mode. So here, when this is set on, I'm going to be erasing with the brush. Let's go ahead and put that back to normal. I'm going to be erasing with the brush that I have selected, which I really like. I really think it should be like that all the time. I don't like erasing with a soft round brush or something like that. All right, so I'm sure you guys will have some questions on this. Again, I typically, I like painting in this mode and in this mode, I can still access all the shortcuts and have everything available, which is, again, that's how I like it. If you're not subscribed and you use a stylus and a Windows 10 tablet, this is a great channel for you. Uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification icon right now. And thank you for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.